Why do we make rules? When I talk about rules, I mean laws, company policies and procedures, sports rules, chore charts for our kids or anything like it. First you have to have a goal. Unless you have a goal, there isn't a need for rules. You can do pretty much whatever you want and get whatever result you get. But let's assume we do have a goal. We make rules based off of two factors, trust and consistency. This video is about trust. Why do we put up railings on balconies? It's because we don't trust that someone won't accidentally look too far over the edge. Every day we make trust judgments, and it's only natural to have few rules for those we trust and more rules for those we don't. While it's important to make these judgments, sometimes we can get a little carried away. I saw an email recently where a company reminded its knowledge worker employees that they were not allowed to come into work late, leave early, or take unplanned time off unless it was previously approved by a manager. If they didn't follow the rules, they may face company discipline up to and including dismissal. Yeah, there's a big contradiction here. For 12 years through high school, we were reprimanded if we were late or left early or even skipped class. Then in college, we were told we were adults and could do whatever we wanted to. But now that we're in the workforce, we have to go back to grade school rules. Why is that? Guidelines like these are important if employees are working a shift and production depends on them. I get that. But a lot of people are knowledge workers now, and the model is really very different. But it isn't just an eight to five work time issue. It also applies to sick time, vacation time, internet policies, lunch breaks, social media restrictions, and a host of other company policies. I once worked at a company that gave everyone three weeks of vacation, but we were the only ones to keep track of it. We could come in when we wanted, leave when we wanted, and if we wanted to watch a movie in the middle of the day, go for it. As long as the work gets done and we work hard, that is what mattered. Although we never turned in our daily hours or sick days or vacations, I don't know anyone who took advantage of it. Simply put, they did not abuse the system. Hmm, I think there might be a correlation there. On the other hand, with all the restrictions in some companies, I hear employees often wasting time trying to find ways to get around or stretch the rules or complaining about them. In the end, this makes them less productive, the very opposite of what the rules were trying to accomplish. But it goes the other way too. Employees need to give a healthy level of trust to their employers. There needs to be a balance between the two. Wisely letting go is pretty liberating. If you make too many rules with your kids, for example, you wind up spending all your time as an enforcer rather than actually enjoying your kids. My philosophy, if you want to know it, and it doesn't matter because I'm going to give it to you anyways, stop wasting time by making and enforcing rules that in the end really don't matter. This allows you to give attention to the things that are the most important. Trust your employees, focus on what will make you successful, and let the small stuff take care of itself. Will they make mistakes? Sure, just like you do, just like I do, just like we all do. In fact, we need to give them that latitude and be okay with it. What they do next will show their trustworthiness. And if they're not trustworthy, they need to leave. But that also means that you need to trust. At first, it might be a scary thing to do, but I bet that you'll find on many levels, there's a huge payback. I once heard a story of a newlywed couple who went to marriage counseling. He complained that she didn't trust him with the other women in the office. After a little probing, the counselor discovered that this was his second marriage, she was the secretary before, and she had a really good reason not to trust him. 